Hi, MMA fans. We are here today with Thiago Pitbull Alves, champion of Bare Knuckle Fighting Championship. How are you, my friend? Doing great, man. Thanks for having me. Yeah, yeah. I saw you just broke your hand. Tell us what yeah, happened. Yeah, I, uh, I broke my uh, right hand middle finger in a fight. I guess I shattered it in three pieces uh, after lending a couple right hands. But uh, recovery is fairly easy. Uh, I have, you know, a plate and some pins in my hands. Uh, the pin should come out in like five weeks. And then I should be able to be hitting again within, uh, within three months, they say. You got, you got two fights. You got two wins in bare knuckle. Uh, what would be uh, the most uh, remarkable difference between fighting MMA and fighting bare knuckle? Oh, it's a completely different uh, uh, fighting style. You know, uh, it starts with the time. You know, you have five rounds or two minutes for one minute rest. So intensity is a lot higher. Uh, the tempo is different as well. You know, uh, you have to be a lot easier because you only have two minutes. So it's a, it's a sprint, you know, because you got to go fast because you're going to rest, you know, a, a whole minute. And being used to fighting MMA, you know, it's five minute, one minute round. So it's kind of refreshing, you know, because it, it becomes a game for me, like how tired can I get? You know, how much can I push myself, you know, to get tired? But it's definitely different when it comes to tempo, you know, uh, to output and uh, uh, fighting tempo as well. You know, you have to stay busy. You have to be prepared to punch and flip punches all the time. But concerning the cuts, uh, you told me already that uh, you never got so many stitches in your life yeah. in true fights in bare knuckle and, and you have 38 fights in MMA. Yeah. So I, I, in MMA, I think my record in MMA right now is 28-15. Uh, uh, so like that's what 40 something fights 28 15 20, 20 yeah it's like 40 yeah. 40 48 7, 47 40. right something like that uh -huh. so yeah, exactly. like I think I think in the uh, uh, and those fights combined you know I had about 20 maybe 30 stitches you know and my first fight in burn knuckle boxing dude I got 40 stitches just in my first fight I got a headbutt you know in the fourth round that that like opened up you know a few more uh, this time around, I got cut on top of it. So I, and my, my scars didn't open in the same spot. They opened right on top of it. I had three on top of my uh, current forehead uh, scar, and I had two more here on the side. So a total of 45 stitches, you know, and a broken finger in two fights. Uh, but besides the lacerations, you know, uh, it, overall in your whole body, bare knuckle box, it's a lot easier in your body than MMA would be. Nice. And Thiago, uh, when you attend, I saw that you have uh, some kind of negotiation with the event that after you get the, the, the belt, you could have a, a new negotiation about uh, uh, being paid. Uh, how is that? Uh, you, you have any plans? When are you planning to come back and, and, and how is the negotiation? So like, uh, realistically, my, my next fight, you know, it needs to be by the end of the year or beginning of next year, you know? So either I'm looking at December to that February window, you know? Between December to February, I should be fighting again, right? Uh, in my old contract, I signed with them for, for a three-fight contract, but we had a clause in the contract that once I become a champion, we got a brand new contract, right? So uh, right now, we're in a process of negotiating, you know? Uh, it takes time. You know, uh, with Bernard Boxing, it's not something that we're going to, you know, get it done right, right off the back. It's going to take time to negotiation, but I'm in no rush. You know, I, unfortunately, I have to heal from, from my finger, and I'm busy coaching. You know, uh, we've got a big fight coming up this weekend, and uh, just being a better boxer I can be, you know, that doesn't mean just because I got a broken finger, you know, I'm not going to get better. I'm going to make sure my left hand is as deadly as my right hand right now. You know, I'm still going to get better. I'm still going to be working on, on myself to become the best you know, fighter that I can be, but I'm no rush. You know, if it happens, great. If it doesn't happen, it's because it wasn't meant to be. But for me to fight again, uh, for me to defend my belt, it needs to be worth my while. Yeah, you, you're talking about the most important, a very important fight that American top team is going to have on Saturday. Uh, this Poirier facing Conor McGregor for the third time. What do you expect about that fight? Uh, I expect victory, man. I expect a war. You know, uh, Dustin is prepared for everything. You know, we came very prepared the first time around, the second time around. This time around, it's not going to be any different. 
uh, our confidence is super high you now, our morale is super high. That doesn't mean that we're going to disrespect them and not work our ass off to make sure that we beat them decisively again. And now uh, we're ready, we're prepared. And now on Saturday night, I'm pretty sure the diamond is going to shine again. If you have to bet in a result, which would be? I already actually bet in a result, but uh, the DP is going to win. You know, I think we'll probably finish him by the fourth, fifth round. You know, uh, we're probably going to submit him this time. But, you know, it, it doesn't surprise me if we're able to end early or go all 25 minutes with a, you know, a, a significant bit down on, uh, to, to Dustin Poirier over McGregor. Any, any bets about uh, for the uh, future champions in American top team? Any, any guy that you see, you see today as a trainer and you see, man, this guy's going to be a future champion in UFC 1 or PFL? Dude, it's so crazy because we have so many talents. We have so many champions and training under the same roof already, you know. Uh, but just to, to mention a few guys that, you know, you got Thiago Moises, got a big fight coming up, you know, uh, on a 17 against uh, Khabib's brother. Uh, we got Moikano, another serious talent. Uh, we got Pantaja. We got so many talents. Adriano Moraes, you know, just beat, you know, one of the greatest fighters to ever walk on earth. So uh, it, it's kind of hard to like pinpoint, you know, some of the guys because we have so many good guys. We have, you know, uh, the top middleweights in, in, in uh, Bellator also, you know, uh, Johnny Amlin. We have uh, Austin uh, uh, and we got uh, Alton as well. So we have a lot, of, a lot of talent, you know, in every uh, major organization in the world. So I, I feel kind of guilty, you know, mentioning somebody because I might forget the other one. Is, and I don't want to be like that. You know, it's just we got so many talent that it's kind of hard to pick a point, but you, you better believe that we're going to have, like we do already, champions in every different organization of the world. Uh, the last question, Thiago. I saw today a world champion of wrestling. I saw in Steve Moko on Instagram, uh, he posted it, and, and I, I started to follow that guy, and, and he, he put it a picture with you. Uh, is that guy planning to fight in MMA? Talk, talk about him a little bit, please. So, you know, we have an uh, awesome, you know, a program where we're able to get high levels wrestlers, you know, that want to switch to MMA and we give them housing, you know, we give them everything that they need to make sure that they succeed, you know, at the highest level. And, uh, you know, we actually opened a new location uh, in, in New Jersey, you know, right next to a, a big wrestling, you know, uh, a program where we can just get these guys, you know, uh, pretty much fresh off the boat, you know, moving straight up from uh, wrestling to you know, start their career in MMA. They're going to have no bad habits. You know, we can, build, we can build those guys from the ground up, you know, with solid technique and solid work ethic, you know. And so uh, that just means that we're not slowing down. You know, we, we, we here in American Top Team, we're very serious about what we do. This is what we do 24-7. It's fighting, you know. There is no other focus in our head, but make sure we have the best fighters, make sure our fighters have the best conditions to make sure they are successful fight night. And that's, pretty much, you know, the, the standard for us, make sure we have the best coaches, the best fighters, you know, and always make sure that we're all upgrading and getting to that, you know, highest level, not just in coaching, but in, in training facility as well, you know, for our fighters. Thanks a lot, Pitbull. It's a pleasure to talk to you as always, my friend. Thanks, man. Thanks for having me.